Hello all. In previous session, we learned how to use UWB for the ranging method. So one of the biggest application for the ranging method is indoor localization or indoor navigation. So it will help us to identify where exactly a particular tag is present if anchors are placed properly. And so there are different methods that are there to identify the position of the tag the user um, so one of the method what we are taking uh, discuss here is a triangulation method so in the triangulation method we will be having two anchors anchor a one which will be placed at some location and we consider it as a zero zero location so in actual test it was play, placed at this location and anchor Two A two is placed a hundred centimeters away from it, and we call this point as a hundred comma zero. So these are the coordinates. This is anchor two position in the real demo video. So these are the positions of the anchor one and anchor two, uh, and we know the coordinates. Uh, coordinates of the anchor one is zero comma zero, and coordinates of the anchor two is is hundred comma zero. Now the tag is which is a variable and which moves across the region. So to identify the tag location, so we are using a triangulation method where A1 and A2 is acting like a base. So we call this base as a C. And this tag is constantly communicates with A1 and A2 anchors and sends its a distance. How far it's from the anchor A1 and anchor A2. And this distance we call it uh, tag distance from A1 we call it A and tag distance from the A2 we call it B. So now we have we know the the C is 100 centimeters, A and B is variable and but this distance we'll know constantly the tag is communicates the distance and this data we will send it to a PC and in PC we'll run a small Python program which will do a triangulation calculation and which can identify the tag angle and how far it's from the a1 and a2 so i'll just jump into the code and uh, walk through the code in eye level and then we will uh, do a live demo so in a code i just started with importing the serial port because the data anchor a1 and a2 is connected and sends the data over the serial port so i need a serial a time is just to import give us some diet delay to for a synchronized execution math function i imported to do mathematical operations because i have to do a lot of calculations uh, and for the triangles and turtle is used it's a very good uh, uh, interface for the fine drawing and uh, graphical representation so i just initialize the com serial one and serial two I, I'll just skip this uh, the turtle graphics part and jump into the code where the actual loop is running. The graphics are pretty easy. Just to do the a visual representation, we created this function. Okay, coming to the main function. First of all, I initialize the, all the objects what I'm using in this graphics. Once initialize done, I plot the graph like x and y coordinates then i plotted the anchor one and anchor two With anchor one it sets zero zero location anchor two is under comma zero location once anchor one and anchor two is plotted i'm trying to read the data from the uh, serial port one and i'm calling as a b and serial port two i'm calling as uh, this uh, side as a a and once the data is, I just plus show that uh, unwanted or garbage data will be removed. Then whatever the data I'm reading in k string a, I'm assigned to the int a, and string b, I'm assigned to the int b. I'm printing that values. Printing that values to get the proper uh, to know for the debugging purpose. Once that has been done. So whatever I'm reading in the uh, side A and side B, I'm printing so that uh, for the debugging purpose. But in actual code, we can remove this print statements, which will increase the execution time. 
it will increase the fastness of the execution okay so once i got the int a and int p and and int c is already known it's 100 centimeters so then i'll uh, to get a cos angle it's a, a triangulation formula is like a b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2 bc and this gives the cos angle once i got the cos angle i can get the sine angle by using a square root of 1 minus cos square and now if i have cos angle cos the cos angle and sine angle the x coordinate of the tag can be int b into cos angle and y coordinate will be int b into sine so now i have a angle x and y coordinates i can do any with these values i can do like a door lock or unlock sending the advertisements or pop-ups to the tag or the user so just to give a graphical representation so i just trying to put them uh, uh trying uh, draw the triangle on the ma turtles graphic representation and uh, they are you know like uh, in the graph you have uh, four coordinates so the first coordinate is uh, quadrant one uh, we have uh, x is plus and y is plus the second quadrant x is minus y is plus the third quadrant x minus y minus and fourth quadrant is a y is minus and x is plus In fourth quadrant x is plus and y is minus so the same the logic is added here so if the both x and y are positive then the the tag in quadrant one if the x and x is negative and y is positive it means um, tag in the quadrant two since we know the triangle has only 180 degrees so we can only identify tag in the 180 degrees only if the tag goes below more than the 180 degree like at 27 then the exact location cannot be traced and this is one of the disadvantages in triangulation method we cannot identify the tag location in 360 degrees so we can only identify tag location from the 180 degrees only in the 180 degrees region only okay so now we will go to the actual demo so in this demo I kept the anchor A1 at the 0, 0 location and anchor A2 at 100, 0 location. So it's 100 centimeters away from each other. Now in my hand, I have a tag. So let me run the code. And once I run the code, the Python program starts a graph where uh, X and Y coordinates will be drawn. And anchor A1 is drawn at 0 location and anchor A2 is drawn at 100, 0 location and now this tag is continuously sends the data how far it's from the anchor a1 and anchor a2 if i'm placing the tag near to the anchor a2 then the red dot is generated it's a tag position that gives the angle from the with respect to anchor a1 and how far it's with respect to the anchor a1 so now we can see it's a 26 angle and uh, it's a one not one centimeter it's a 34 degrees angle 105 centimeters as i'm moving the uh, my tag the uh, in the as i'm moving my tag the the red dot in the code is also changes it's a live position as i'm moving this tag near to the anchor a1 the red dot is also moving and it gives the corresponding angle and how much far it's from the anchor a1 so in this way we can identify the coordinates and angle of a tag in the given place thank you